Hello and welcome my dear kids. I hope you all are fine. I am having some problem with my throat. I can't speak clearly. So I am very sorry for that. So in today's video, we will be looking about chapter 1 that is what, where, how and when. In this video, I have compiled all the extra questions of the chapter so that it will be easy for you to learn all the important extra questions. This chapter is from your history portion of your social study syllabus. So dear kids, without much wasting time, let's start to watch the video. My dear kids, let's look into the first question which is name two words which are often used for our country. The answer is India and Bharat are the two words of used for our country. Question number two is define archaeology. Archaeology is the study of the remains of the ancient past. Question number three is what are artifacts? The old objects like tools, weapons, pots, coins, etc., which were used by the early man are called artifacts. Question number four is where did people live in the past? The answer is they lived along the banks of the rivers. Question number five who are known as archaeologists? The people who study the things related to the past are known as archaeologists. They dig the surface of the earth to find the remains of the past like tools, weapons, coins, etc. Question number six we have. Why the word pasts in plural is used on the title of the book? The word pasts is used to tell the fact that past was different for different groups of people. For example, number one, the lives of the farmers were different from kings and queens. And number two, the lives of merchants were different from craftspersons. Question number 7. What are manuscripts? They are the records written by hand. They are usually written on palm leaf or on the specially prepared bark of a tree known as perch. Question number 8 is What do you mean by history? History is the study of the past events and it is the study of events, their causes and results. Question number 9 is When did the agriculture first begin? The answer is the agriculture first began around 8000 years ago. Question number 10 how many periods history is divided into? The answer to this question is the long history of man is divided into two periods. Number one, the prehistory period, the early period of history for which there is no written records and number two, history, a period for which we have written records. Question number 11. What problems are associated with manuscripts? As these manuscripts were written on the leaves or the bark of a tree over the years, many of these manuscripts are eaten away by insects and hence have been destroyed. Question number 12. Where did man grow rice, wheat and barley for the first time? The answer is divided into two parts. The places where rice was first grown 
are to the north of the vindhyas and wheat and barley were first grown in the places near sulaiman and kitthar hills to the northwest of india question number 13 explain some archaeological sources the first archaeological sources are tools and weapons man used tools for his life and social development number 2 we have megaliths these are also archaeological sources these are the big stones out of most burial sites dear children now the third archaeological sources that we have is animal bones these help us to know that early men lived by the side of the river and lakes as bones were found there and the fourth archaeological sources are pottery and cave paintings these buried remains of early man belongs to the prehistoric period question number 14 is what do you mean by excavation excavation means to dig under the surface of the earth question number 15 we have why did people travel from one part of the subcontinent the answer is divided into three parts number 1 in search of livelihood number 2 to escape from natural disasters like floods and number 3 some people wanted to discover new things and places question number 16 who are historians historians are the scholars who study the past and use the word source to refer from manuscripts inscriptions and archaeology question number 17 we have when did the first cities on the indus develop the answer is the first cities on the indus developed around 4700 years ago question number 18 we have name the town on the north coast of egypt where inscribed stone was found which contained inscriptions in three different languages the answer is rosetta dear children if you like the video subscribe to my channel learn up with shomali hit the like button and leave your valuable comment thanks for watching and keep learning